Welcome back everybody to the Startable Blog, the place where everyone can be an entrepreneur. I'm Nicole Dickens, the founder of Zoetica, where we help people start, launch, then scale their ideas for maximum impact. The Startable community itself is about igniting the entrepreneurial spirit in as many places as possible for those at the early stages of entrepreneurship to discover, then launch those ideas into the world. And it will forever be free to join. Now, part of Startable's plan to encourage entrepreneurship, especially in underserved places, is to spend time regularly debunking myths, and there are a lot of them. This new series will discuss one of the most common ones I hear from entrepreneurs, clients, and startups alike, and that's this one. The only problem we have is money. All we need is money if we just had money. Every time I hear any of the variation of these phrases, I know we need to go back to the drawing board because what's generally behind these assertions are what I refer to as the what, who, when problem. And I want you to notice how I didn't say how much. We've been spending some time talking about ideas that are worthy of investment. The transformation that's necessary to have the impact with your intended audience, be they customers, clients, users, community, um, finding the idea that is born from both your passion and purpose. We've talked about how to have impact by making sure you are solving the right problems with the right solution. And granted, there can be more than one right solution, right? And then be sure to take advantage of what I'm calling the pinnacle effect, which is determining what is the greatest impact your idea can have on the largest number of people, because after all, people are the only treasure here. Now, I've taken the time to get you thinking along these ideas because it's one of the best ways to discover those really great ideas worth launching and scaling. And this brings us to the what portion of the problem statement I mentioned earlier. If the idea is worthy, it solves a real problem, it meets a real need, and the solution can bring transformation or positive impact to a large number of people, the money will come guys, I promise you. Too often we aren't able to garner interest because the idea simply isn't big enough. It doesn't solve a real problem or meet a real need. Or it solves a problem that isn't as important to most as it may be to you. And that last one, I actually see quite a bit of. Now the who of the problem has to do very much with you and your team. Investors, be they angels or VCs, banks, friends and family, and granted, not everybody has access to that last one, friends and family who, who have the ability to invest. But whoever they are, they're looking for some indication that you and your team are able to deliver on what's promised, at the very least. And often, depending upon where you are in your funding process, your fundraising process, that is, they are looking for a few more things that I'll discuss in a future blog post. That leaves us with the when portion of the problem, and yes, I do mean timing, friends. Your idea is just not at the right time for investment. Too early. People can't see the value of your idea because it solves a problem too far in the future and not yet important enough to folks. Or it's too late. There are too many players in the space, and your idea is just another me too. It's not differentiated and definitely not innovative both of which I'll take some time to unpack in a future post. So if you've been telling yourself that your only problem is money, I would encourage you to take some time to rethink that idea, the solution you wanna to bring to the world against the what, who, when problem to uncover the real reason you may not be attracting the kind of funding you're looking for. Keep checking this blog out as we are going to take more time in unpacking this problem statement, the what, who, when, to help refocus your fundraising efforts. Until next time, folks, get out there, get something done.